G'day folks, welcome to Big V TV. Great to have you with us. It could be the last show. I know. For the whole season, championship men and women. Silly season, we'll be more. back no, at some stage. We've got to wrap it up, don't we? Do we next week? Yeah, I think we what should. What are you doing next week? Nothing. I thought you'd be on a plane straight out. I should be. Go on, get I out should, of here. I should, aren't you? Uh, probably, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. <laughs> last, last time I went away, you saw um, Shane back. Well, I, 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 I cracked it on a show so I could go away for a week. People thought I seriously spat the dummy. Oh, that's right. You did. I got ripped. Why do people believe everything we say and do on this show? Because we're really good actors. Oh yeah, really good. Really they believe good. it. I got, I got torn to shreds. I'll tell you what, one thing I'm not acting about, yep. Ringwood Hawks. Wow. What a weekend for the Ringwood Hawks. <sighs> Certainly not a positive weekend. Man, they're on the back foot. Both their men and women on the back foot and both ended their games in dramatic fashion. It was, it really was. We'll start with the women first. Uh, they they went down to the Broncos by a point. 57-56. Uh, it's going to really hurt for a little while, this one. Uh, it's going to be a bit of soul searching this week for training. But from all reports, uh, she, what's her name? Katrina Hibbert, she's pretty good at Bert. Just, just quickly on Katrina Hibbert. Yeah. A minute to go in the game. She was rubbish. She None, of six. Rubbish. She was None rubbish. of six. She was having a horrible game. Old Froggy yeah. just could not land a shot. No. You know what? She did when it mattered. Like, great play, step up when it matters. Off glass. Banked it from three. Down, downtown. Bang, put them up. The go ahead bucket. And I think Ringwood went to the foul line with only a few seconds to go. Or yep. thereabouts. I haven't seen the live stats. Missed both the bang. Hume City get up. Now we said last Free week. Free throws a tail of the tape and championship. Well, wait till we talk about champ men in a moment. Uh, we said this about Hume City last week. If they get game one, which they've now got, yeah. that's the absolute best they can do. Yep. To go into the weekend that that's coming up, they're looking no pretty doubt. good. They, wow. they did a huge, they, they, a massive effort, massive effort, especially defensively. Um, Very good effort defensively, and they've done that on Amber Heg twice. Yes, now twice this season. And this, but Ring would have been the team this year. That, you yep. know, if one doesn't get you another world, but. Yep. I don't know if anyone's held the two imports to under double figures well, let's, in the same game. Let's have, let's have a look at it. Oh, mate, I'm, I'm right. Yeah, I know, you're wrong. Yeah, yeah, I know, what you do. Uh, Jadee Rooney had eight points. Yep. I think she's going at about 17 or 18 on average this season. Yep. Amber Heck had eight points. I think she's going at about 22, 23 on average Jadee's this season. scoring more than Amber, actually. Oh, it's the other way around. Might yep. be the other way around. Anyway, what we're saying is they were both way under their check. averages. Amber Heg played 19. 40 minutes. She was going at about 19. Who's that 19? Jadine yeah. Rooney. She played all 40 minutes, shot 3 of 17, and Amber Heg shot 3 of 12, and she's averaging. Did you get the average on Amber Heg? Oh, well, give me a minute. Come on, mate. What's wrong with you? you got 17. 17, okay. So they were way under their averages. Yeah, absolutely. Don't know where I got 23 job. from, but yeah. anyway. Um, Tara Blair had 13 points in this game. I think shot 8 of them in the last quarter. Okay. So she was reasonably well yep. helped at three quarter time as well. Emma Badone, yeah, yeah, she had 17 and 7 in this game. Just a breakdown on quarters, uh, Hume City went 19-13 to start. Yep. Ringwood bounced back 17-11. Scores tied up at halftime. Third quarter, Hume came out and went 19-8. to Premiership quarter. Busted the game open. Yep. Ringwood flew home 18-8 to in the last. Sharon Milner played all 40 minutes. Now, we know Katrina Hibbert didn't have a great game shooting wise until no. it mattered. That's right. right. Until it mattered. Don't care how it goes in. If it goes in, that's it. That's it right. counts. It that's counts. Right. Doesn't matter if it hit the glass 47 times. It counts. First time, only time she found the net all night. That's all right. Uh, Sharon Milner, 19 points, five rebounds, six assists, two triples in 40 minutes of action. I guess what I'm trying to say here is when the big games come around, the stars come to play. Absolutely. Big time plays. Gun. Big time plays. Um, and just one, if you, if you think it's a superlative for Sharon Milner, what would it be? A superlative for Sharon Milner? Oh, just super, one? Just superstar. Class. Yeah, class, superstar. Yeah, yeah like it. Yeah. She's good. She's like, good. She's, she's not, very good. She's very good. That's exactly right. Viv Sard also had 12. She, she was come. good. She was good. Yep, 12. She, she's really coming along yep. at the moment. Yep. Uh, Yik Ola Renouf had a double-double as well. She's been good all year. I reckon the only one that was quite for me... Uh, in terms of Hume City, Hume City have still got room to improve. I think it'd be the first ones to say we can still go better again. I think Green probably could too. Absolutely. Taryn McPherson only played eight minutes, didn't put a shot up. 
did not put his shot up. Tarek McPherson's had a very good season. Uncharacteristic, isn't it? Very good season. Yep. So I reckon that she'll bounce back. But I think the ring would have um, a higher ceiling from this game, a higher ceiling than the Broncos do. They've got they've got more improvement in them than Hume City does. I don't reckon. I don't think that this weekend is about offense. I think it's about defense. If Hume City. Yeah. can defensively hold Ringwood again, and they've done it a couple of times this season, they've held Heg a couple of times. If they can defensively hold Ringwood again, they can win it. Well, they can. Ringwood shot 29% from the field in this one. They shot a 7 of 35 from downtown, so they, they didn't die wondering, but Hume City, that's why And the did. reason why they've gone downtown is because they couldn't get inside. That's right. That's why they've done it. We should also mention Hume City, 8 and 12 last season. Yeah. Finished about 8th on the ladder, 7th on the ladder, 8 and 12. The season before, 0 and 21. Right. In two seasons, they won 8 of 41 games. They are one win away from winning the title. Well, they've really turned the program around this year and they've given it, you know, this is what we're used to seeing out of the Hume City Broncos in the modern era, Big V. And, uh, you know, sh- they, this is where they should be. They're playing some good basketball. And, you know, this is. A oh, one point ball game in the Grand Final is fantastic. That's what I, I'm hoping games They are soon. on the verge. Of yeah. capping what would be the up your season, I reckon. You reckon? Oh, well, everyone has been, not everyone, that's probably a little bit unkind. There's been plenty of people out there more than willing to sink the boots into Hume City over the last couple of years. Yep, I think you're They're right. They're very, very close from the old up yours, we just won a title. Very, very close. They feel good, don't they? they well, it does. Yeah. Who's going to win? What's going to happen this weekend? Saturday night is out at the Chocolate Factory. Yep. What time's the start Six, of the Chocolate 6 Factory? 6.15. 6.15? Yep. Sunday, if required, will be about 2.15. Yep, that's it. Okay. okay. Who's, who's going to win? Take it away. This is hard. It's really hard. Um, I'm going to spat that out. That's the understatement of the season. Uh, I'm inclined to say Ringwood could send it into... A, I'm inclined to say that. But, to send it into a game but, game, but I just don't ooh. think they can do it. I don't think they can do it. You think it's going to be done Saturday night? Yeah. And it, look, when everyone looks back in a couple of years and said, oh, Hume City sweat Ringwood, it's not going to be like that at a glance. It, when, you, when you look into it, it's going to be a hard-fought series. This will be another single-figure game, but it will go the way of the Broncos. If you were Heg and Rooney, both under average. Well under. Uh, in game one. Yeah. Two Americans, they're out here to play basketball. They're not out here to, to you know, run for parliament in September. They're not out here to, you know, do anything other than play. They're here to play basketball. That's what I'm saying. Yep. What would they be going through this week? What would they be get, They'd be getting some shots up. Well, they put a lot of pressure on themselves, understandably. You know, they, you know we, your sole purpose out here is to play basketball and produce for your team. Yep. On This is the biggest so stage. And this is the biggest stage they'll have all season. So there's a lot of pressure on them to perform, but let's see if they're of that class that they can step up when their name's called. Will it go to game three, yes or no? I'm gonna say no. You think it's done Saturday night? Yeah. It's all about defense. I think Ringwood gets Saturday night. Really? I think you it goes think Ringwood are gonna win. I just want a game. No, no, I just no, want no, some no, games okay. out there on Sunday. I want, what I want is you just to tip who you think will win. I think Ringwood gets Saturday night. Do you really? Yep, I think Ringwood will I don't know Saturday. if you do. I reckon you just want to game through. Just ask me the question again. Who do you want to who do you want to win? I think Rig would win Saturday night. That's the seventh time I've said it. Just for those still that, not just sure. for those that sit beside me and say, no, you don't. I'm still not convinced. I think Ring would win Saturday night. That's yeah. the eighth time I've said it. I think it goes into Sunday. Yeah. I reckon Hume City get back into the defensive mindset. Really? Yeah. yeah. I think they come up short. I reckon Ringwood will win it. They'll go to I reckon Ringwood will get it. All right, Amber Heg is too good a player to hold down again. Don't get me wrong. Well done, Hume City, on holding her down. That's why. And let's let's just look at let's Amber Heg, Hume City, twenty seventh of April. Mm. She had nineteen and six. It's not bad. Twenty third of June against Hume City, she played fifteen minutes and fouled out. Yep. She had eleven points. Yep. And then the last game. That's her track record. They played three times during the season, young man. Get the other game. Where's 23 it? points and 8 rebounds in 29 minutes. Look up Jadine Rooney while you're at it. Oh, I, I just don't think they can hold them down again. That's all I'm saying. Or hold them all down. Yeah. I, I like just, somebody's going to get everything. Uh, 27th of April, Jadine had 28 and 6 and 4. It's not bad. Then she had 14. It's okay. And then she had 28. 
It's not bad. It's a lot of points. I just think Hume City won't hold them both down again. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, that's good. You're going Hume City. I'm going Ringwood to bounce back and get two games at home. Yeah. Okay. okay? Cool. Having said that, if Hume City did get up and win this weekend, I'm the first person to get up and applaud them. The first person. Oh, so you can't lose that, now, can you? I can't lose. No, that's right. <laughs> hey, what do I do here? Is that the one? Okay, no worries. Here we go. I thought you were flying around. I, I thought you were flying around. Champ men. Now, this was uh, Cryo Bay Ringwood, of course, out of the uh, out of the chocolate factory. It was a classic. Mate, this was unbelievable. Can I paint the picture? Yep. Will you just give me 60 seconds to go, paint the picture? Go, go, All right. so. All right, here go. we go. I'll try and paint it. <laughs> Seven minutes to go or thereabouts. Yeah. Ringwood are up by eight points. What a visual, it looks like Ringwood are up by eight points with about seven minutes to go. Yeah. The crowd down at the chocolate factory, they're yeah. pumped. Eight points, we're on a roll. We're gonna win this thing. Yeah. We're gonna defend our title. Yeah. We're gonna win it. Uh, Marlo Hicks, two-pointer, fouled, made the free throw. Liam Norton, three-pointer, within the space of 30 seconds. Six and a half minutes to go, it's back to two points. Yep. Okay? The crowd probably not so sure right now. They're yep. probably just a little bit unsettled. Oh, I can see it. We get down to the final 10 seconds of the game. Yep. 10 seconds to go. Ringwood lead, 95-94. 10 seconds to go. Brian Dewar, up. Foul. Sam Bell, foul. No, 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 Brian Dewar, foul. 10 oh, seconds, okay. to, yeah, yeah, 10 okay. seconds yeah, yeah, on we go. On we go. Brian Dewar, foul, goes okay. to the foul line. Yeah. Remember he scored nine points or something like that yeah. in the last 80 seconds the week before. Yeah. Okay. Won the game against Bullen. 10 seconds to go. Ringwood, up by one. 95 to 94. I feel like I'm telling a bedtime story. I know. Now, That's why I boys and girls, close. boys and girls, sit down, relax. Brian Dewar goes to the foul and misses the first. That's okay. That's all right. Don't panic. No, 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 no. Don't panic. It's okay. Misses the first. It's okay. It's all right. Still got a second shot. We can be up by two in a minute. I'm sure the crowd will okay, be chilling. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. He'll hit the second. Yeah. Misses the second. Yep. It's okay. Sam Belt rebounds the ball. It's okay. Offensive rebound. Yeah, offensive rebound. Got the, ball, got the ball back. They're up by one point. Clock's ticking. Tick, tick, tick. Five seconds to go. Foul. That's okay. Sam Belt's going to go to the foul line. We've still got the ball. We're still up by one. Cryo Bay call a timeout. A few words of wisdom from the coaching staff. Make Sam Bell think about it. Make Sammy think about it. Five seconds to go, we come back from the timeout. Sam Belt goes to the foul line. Ringwood's leading by no, point. No, no, <laughs> Ringwood's leading by point 95, <laughs> 94. It's okay, five seconds to go, we've got possession right at the foul line. Maybe we'll lead by two, maybe we'll lead by three. Sam Belt misses the first. Are you starting to feel nervous wow. now in the crowd? It's just getting a little bit unsettling. We've just, Maybe they'll get another we've, offensive rebound. Well, we've just missed three in the last five seconds of play. That's okay, Sam Bell still got a second shot. Misses the second. Eric Williams rebounds the ball. It's a big rebound. It's a massive rebound. Rocket outlet pass. Outlet, cross court. Yeah. Um, up into the front half of the court finds Liam Norton. Liam Norton flicks the ball across to the pigskin kicker. The pigskin kicker has just bolted from one end. It's the fastest I've seen him run since 1976. I didn't know he could run that fast. Uh, he's, he hasn't run that fast in 35 years, and he's only 34 years old. He has not run that fast in his life. That's what I'm trying to say. Yep. Liam Norton, five seconds to go, five seconds. Eric Williams rebound outlet up to Liam Norton. Liam Norton just goes bang, flicks it out to the side, Breeden's there, catches it on the three, puts it up on the buzzer. Runner. Runner on the buzzer. Goes through. Curtis. Carrillo Bay, 97 95 over Ringwood. That was wow. Run. That was run there. Yeah, that guy was, yeah, that was good. I saw it. I saw wow. it. After. I saw the video, which helped. But It was an unbelievable finish to this game, and surely, as tough as nails as Ringwood are, and uh, hey, make no mistake, uh, Ringwood eat. Those Ringwood players, they eat razor blades for breakfast, my friend. They enjoy them. They are as tough as nails. Yep. But. This is debilitating, man. Got it. And I mean, look, I'm gonna say, I didn't give him a hope did I? last week. I, I said, Karabe, you're just gonna. No, you didn't them. give him a chance. I thought you were pretty silly to do that because yeah. they're a bloody good team, Ringwood. Yeah. But 
<laughs> That's a big job right now. It's a it? debilitating loss when that, that was their chance. Take us through the scorers. Marlo Hicks, brilliant. Yeah, Absolutely brilliant. He was a beast. 33 points, 11 rebounds in 32 minutes is not a bad little outing. Liam Norton had 14 points, Eric Williams had 19 and 8, and Jason Ridden, 11 points, 7 rebounds and 14, 14 assists. Hey, Hutchie, don't forget Hutchie, Hutchie had 6 points, where do you think all of those 6 points came from? I don't even make mention of it. Does he go inside? Does Hutchie go inside no. the 3 point line? Get hurt, I've man. never seen him go inside the ball, get hurt in there. Ringwood, Ringwood Brian Dewar had 23, 7 and 6, uh, Willie Weimer had 15, all of them at, from the 3 point line. Big Willie. Yep. Nice work, Willie. Yep, uh, Snowball, from the arc. Snowball had 16, 8 and 7, you know, uh, Sam Bell had 15 and 9, 1 and 5 from the foul line. Sam Bell, 1 and yeah. 5. Out of the, uh, out of the 40 year old go, Luke Egan. Luke Egan popped in 11 and Sean Clark had 13 and 9, here's a quick stat for you though. Oh, uh, I know what you're yeah. going to say here, I just, can I just go back to painting the picture again? Yeah. Because I know where you're going with this. Yeah. Jason Reardon ran the length of the chocolate factory floor. And there was no chocolate at the end. No yeah. chocolate. It, it's the fastest we've ever seen him run. Yeah. The quickest ever. Okay? Got the ball from Liam Norton and in not even the blink of an eyelid. Caught it and just tossed it up. Yeah. Right? Went in. But he's nothing hit, but nothing but he's hit a triple. Yeah. Well done, Jason Reardon, on landing a three-pointer. It's a big play. Because when it comes to three-pointers. The last 20 you took prior to that, 20. you hit one. 20. The 20 before that. And as we know, he doesn't wow. care if he's missed oh, 50. He, he, it's he, come, he comes from the Hutchie school of hitting triples. That's so right. Chuck he, up. he needs Jiminy Cricket. He needs a conscience. <laughs> he, he needs one. He just, so let's just get this right. Jason Reardon, in his last 23 point attempts, had yeah. hit one. Yep. So on his 21st, that became his second three-pointer that he did in 21 attempts. Oh. Wow, nice work. All right, let's go into game two and game three. We head down to Cryo Bay, and I've got to tell you. Seven o'clock Saturday night. Great crowd at this first game. Oh, yeah. It, Ringwood fans, well done, and get out now. As and, usual. And get out now yeah. and support your women, because they're back at home. I think they'll get up. You don't think they'll get up. That's right. So, the fans, fantastic. Yep. We now go to Cryo Bay, and I've got to tell you, when it comes to fans, They'll be up there. Mate, they're rabid. They are. They are rabid. Yeah. They will come out and they will go eight droppings. Berserk. It'll be on for young and old down at Cryo Bay. They'll go crazy, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, okay they'll go crazy. Okay. Who's going to win? I think Ringwood had their chance. Uh, and you'll see Cryo Bay bring it home in their second ever season of Big V. Ringwood are tough. They got the hand. Ringwood are tough. They got the what? The what? They won the hand. It's alright, you'll see. Yeah. Don't, don't they win a title? What are you talking about? Yeah, they'll win a title. Hand? Yeah. You'll see. What, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, no, I'll, miss, I'll miss something, obviously. Ringwood are as tough as. What? What's. Ringwood are as tough as nails. Yeah, right? Uh, the, and I don't Luke think Egan, that, yeah. Maddie Snowball, Sam Bell, Brian Dewar, Willie Weimer, <laughs> and Sean Clark. Experience. Uh, mate, they're, Experience. they're tough. Yeah. I just don't know whether they can stop Marlo Hicks, Eric Williams, um, uh, Liam Jason Reardon, Liam Norton, yeah, Quick one. But there's one good player one. missing. There's one player missing for Crow Bay, and he's a very, very good young player. Yeah. And it might just, just give Ringwood a glimmer of hope that the depth of Cryo Bay is a little bit narrower. I agree, I'll debunk, I'll debunk it in a minute. Okay, yeah. go. Stephen Osborne's not playing Matchbox 20. And Matchbox 20's gone? He's gone to college. Is this his first year at college? Uh, yes. Well done, Stephen. Yep. He's Huge. a very, very good young player. Huge effort. Yep. He only scored seven points on the weekend. You're right, what are you trying to say? I'm just saying. He didn't need he to score. Marlo Hicks had 33. Oh. Eric Williams had 19. This is what I'm saying. Okay. Oh, I get what you're saying. I'm with you. All right. So they don't need him, is what you're saying. No, they got. They got. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that they've got guys that are more than capable of scoring. I think Crow Bay win it on Saturday night. Saturday. Let's cut to the chase. I think Crow Bay win it on Saturday night. Yep. Ringwood very, very good. Yep. They were done and dusted, washed up six rounds into the season. They have done their utmost to defend a title. Huge effort. But as much as it hurts, as much as it is gutting. You missed four foul shots in the last 10 seconds of a game. You should have won it. 
Yeah. Seriously, I mean, that's where uh, it's at. Yeah. They tw- 10 of 22 foul shots for the game. I think I'm right in saying that. Yeah, you're spot on. 10 of 22. So they had their chances to win it, and they blew it. And I think Corio Bay are going to take full advantage of that this Saturday night. Great story. Done. There you go. Uh, enjoy grand finals this weekend. State champ women out at the Chocolate Factory. State champ men down at Cryo Bay. Don't forget, awards not coming up September 21. Stickytickets.com. Dot au. Dot au. Forward slash big V. Forward slash big V. Get on there and get your tickets. Looking forward to that. Good luck to all four teams competing. Yep. May the best teams win. We'll be back to wrap it up next week on Big V TV.